Hidden beneath this desert oasis is something deeper is flowing. Not just water, but science, history, and a fight to protect it. The Hacienda River serves as a lifeline for so many species and really shapes this part of Arizona. And that's why students and scientists at ASU are looking beyond the surface to preserve it. Amid the desert silence, a symphony plays. The call of over 280 bird species rings out, each note part of a fragile harmony nurtured by a rare desert river. Never knew this was here. Absolutely a gem. Love it. There's a lot to see. Just over 60 miles from Phoenix, along US 60, is the Hasayampa River Preserve. It's peaceful and there's a lot of animals. Squirrels, lizards, and fish depend on this 113 mile stream. But just beyond this natural choir, a different sound begins to rise. There's a freeway right there going right by, and I didn't know this was here. The preserve sits quietly between the modern world and its past. A railroad on one side, a busy highway on the other, and not far off, the ghosts of Arizona's historic mining towns. And researchers say there's still little data on how these legacies are affecting the ecosystem here. Run off from the highway, would, what would that, I don't know, how would that affect it when it does rain? And that question is one reason why scientists are paying attention. At Arizona State University, Dr. Rogers' environmental chemistry class is turning the desert preserve into a living lab. What you see here is our auto sampler probe. Research specialist Sarah McGregor guides students as they test for contaminants. So this instrument will read all the different wavelengths of light and tell you uh, what metals are present in your sample. Their findings help build a baseline of data to measure future changes. How else are you going to be able to tell if things are improving or you know, going the opposite direction. Planetary health and human health are intertwined, right? So the, the soil health is directly impacts the food that we eat, the animals that live around us. And my generation, I'm relying on the younger generations like you and those students to under, learn more, understand, and how to protect them for our future generations. I have a two-year-old daughter. I want to make sure that the world that she grows up in is um, as healthy and functional and happy as it can be. Each semester adds data and urgency to protect our water and environment. I think that we need to remember that it's not just about you and when you throw your soda cup out the window on the highway you're doing a disservice to the highway but also like the environment that you live in. At the Hasayampa River Preserve, Justin Hobbs, ABC 15 Arizona.